Yeah. Keep recording. Huh? Look, look, look. Yeah, all right. A photo shoot turned ugly when an aggressive neighbor lashed out at a family for taking pictures on a public sidewalk. We showed you this video, told you a little about the story yesterday, and that's obviously not the right way to handle a situation like that. But that Houston neighborhood is known for public photo shoots like this because, well, it's a really nice neighborhood, and it got us thinking a fight like that could really happen in any scenic neighborhood, and there are a lot around here. So what rights do homeowners have? Jay Wallace joins us now to break it all down down for us, Jay. Well, Brian, we hear about it in many different situations and diff many different ways. People have these types of issues. Homeowners frustrated because they want some peace and quiet. And yes, I know what you go and said, but attacking people like this. Yeah, let's not do that. But whether or not it's public access or just an over the top homeowners association HOA, you as the homeowner have to understand it's on you to ask certain questions before you move in. For example, if you're attracted to a pretty lake view or some sort of uh, other scenic image, people will likely be there too, even those who don't live there. And especially in a growing city like Austin, if you think you're moving to a neighborhood that's out in the country, as some people say, or away from the city, nearby land could quickly change with the addition of grocery stores, malls, or more housing. So ask yourself, what is the public's access and are you okay with the legal answer? If you're not in a gated community, then that access is probably a right of way, which means that even the HOA cannot restrict people that want to do lawful activities. There's always something that you do not anticipate when you're buying a home. And then you think, gosh, if I'd asked that question before, then I would maybe not have bought in this community. Another tip, just take a weekend to spend some time in the community you're thinking about moving to so you can see what it's really like. So why is all this information important? Well, to help keep your frustration from building up after buying your home and doing something like this. And hey, here's one more tip to use in any scenario. I'm going to blow your mind here, guys. Let's all just try to be decent human beings. Oh, wow. Mind blown. Seriously. Yeah, it'd be, solve a lot of problems, wouldn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very easy. All right. Thanks, Jay.